Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you again with another Lightboard lesson today. And today we're going to talk about the Big IP ASM and how it protects your applications and also some third-party vulnerability scanners that can also help protect your applications and how those vulnerability scanners talk to the Big IP ASM, how they interact, how ultimately they can work together to protect your applications. All right, so let's start off. We all know that applications are king out there today. Everybody's got web applications, so I'm just going to draw a few of them right here. So these are your these are your web applications, so web apps, and uh, and these are the things that we want to protect. So what you're going to do, you've got clients out here in the in the big crazy internet who want to come in and access your web applications. You're going to put a big IP in front of your applications to protect them. Of course, you're going to provision. In this case, we'll say the ASM. And so as a client comes to request your web application, uh, they're going to go through the Big IP ASM. And what this is, is a layer 7 firewall, or what we also sometimes call a WAF, a web application firewall. And so some of these, some of these uh, attacks that we see today, like Slow Loris, or maybe HTTP Flood, or some of these level, or layer 7 attacks, are legitimate HTTP requests, and so a traditional, a traditional firewall is not going to block those kinds of uh, requests, but nonetheless, you could get DDoS attacked uh, by those very legitimate looking requests. That's why you need a firewall in front of all your web applications, because uh, this firewall is going to stop the bad uh, request from reaching your applications. All right, so that's why you need a firewall. Um, I also talked a minute ago about vulnerability scanners and uh, the need for those. So in this case, we're going to talk about White Hat. And White Hat is a company that specializes in vulnerability scanning. And they have a tool called the Sentinel tool. Sentinel. And so White Hat Sentinel can, uh, what, what they do is the, the guys at White Hat do a phenomenal job. They know all about these different ap uh, application attacks some of the different attack vectors that people use and, uh, and, and the way that they get into, you know, try to attack your applications. So what the White Hat guys can do is they can actively scan your applications and say, hey, are you vulnerable to things like uh, injection attacks, maybe a SQL injection? Uh, what about like cross-site scripting? Maybe a, a cross-site request forgery? Any number of things that you may be uh, vulnerable to based on the way that your applications have been created, designed, all that stuff. So whoever wrote the application may not have written it completely securely. White Hat is going to come in here and scan all that, and they send you like a weekly report and tell you, hey, these are all the vulnerabilities that you have in your application. So that's the way that these guys help you. They say these are the actual vulnerabilities that your applications have um, you know, currently, and so you need to plug those holes. The, the cool thing about the Big IP ASM and White Hat is these guys actually start talking to each other and uh, whenever you build out your security policy on your, on your, on the web application firewall on the ASM, you can actually take a White Hat Sentinel scan, take the results of that scan, you know, maybe it says, hey, you've got uh, cross-site scripting, injection attack vulnerabilities, all these different vulnerabilities that they have, so they're going to have this whole list of all these vulnerabilities. And you can take that and you can import that into the ASM and you can build a security policy on your ASM based on the results of what the white hat guys scanned your applications to say you're vulnerable against. So it's a really cool you know, uh, combination of a web application firewall and then a vulnerability scanner against your application. So ultimately what's going to happen is, you know, whenever you build the security policy here on your ASM with the white hat results, you're going to actually block the vulnerabilities that your apps have at that current time. So some would argue, why block a bunch of vulnerabilities that don't even exist on your application? Why build a security policy that may be a little, a little clunky, a little chunky, you know, that blocks a bunch of stuff that doesn't even, that are, that's not even vulnerable back here? So why not just block the things that you know are vulnerable. And so, uh, so that's how these two things fit together. So White Hat, uh, again, offers the uh, ability to scan your applications. The Big IP ASM is going to block any kind of malicious requests that come in 
uh, to try to access your applications. These two guys talk together. It's a match made in heaven. Everybody's happy. So you need a firewall. You still need a WAF. You also need the, uh, the application vulnerability scanner. So make sure you get both of those things to fully protect your application. So, uh, so let's all stay secure out there. Thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson, and we'll, get, we'll see you guys out there in the community.